Brian Veeler's rounding them up. It's going to be February 27th for sale, 1983 through 1986, Monte Carlo Supersport. This search request comes from a couple of our subscribers. And like these subscribers, if there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel and drop in the comments to make and model, and I'll round them up for you. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is not the only Monte Carlo for sale, but this is the one. If I was going to buy an 83 to 86 Monte Carlo, this is the one I'd go check out. So that'll be the last one we talk about. Let's get started with the cars we did find that were currently for sale. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. That's the two platforms we're on. I don't own any of these cars. I don't make up the prices. I just simply put them in price order from lowest to highest. That said, let's get started. 1984 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. $2,800. bucks. it has been listed four weeks ago. New Jersey. So that's exactly how you find this car that's currently for sale. Go on Facebook Marketplace, punch in what you see in the title, in New Jersey, and you'll find it. It's been on here four weeks. It does say it's got a clear title. you got to love that when people start their ad off with a clear title in hand. So I'm digging that. Ask them 2800 bucks. Can't get there fast enough, man. This is the car you're looking for. Don't have a lot of money and just want one to start building. There you go. Can't beat that car. Four weeks. On to another one. It's going to be 1985 Chevrolet Monte Carlo here. SS Coupe 2D for two-door. Florida. It was $35.99 for this one. This one looks a lot rougher than that last one. I think I'd go after the other one instead. That's me. If this is your area of Florida looking for an 85 Monte Carlo, boom, we found one. No title. There you go. The other car was definitely a better deal. On to another one. This one's going to be a 1985 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe 2D for two-door, $5,500. Listed three weeks ago, PA. Paint's definitely burnt off it, but I like the rally wheels. This car looks really good. 5500 bucks. Trunk looks solid. Love the air cleaner. Even if it backfires, it's still not going to catch on fire. You got to dig that. So it's got the burgundy interior. It does have a little hole in the floor. It doesn't look like nothing of a big concern. Easy fix. I want to make sure the frame rail is not rotted on this car. That and Some of these things get really rusty rocker panels. But with that said, looks like a pretty honest seller right here. Been on here for three weeks. Check him out. That's what you're looking for in PA. On to another one. Be 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo here. SS Coupe. Obviously the 2D is for two-door. And I don't know, you know, people post their car up and they don't take that off there. They didn't make a four-door. He's only got one photo. It does say clean title. It presents to you a G-Body family member, 1986. True SS G-Code. Clean title. That's what you want to hear is about a title. One picture, not much to show you. You want to read it out, you just have to go on here to that area, Missouri, find it. I punched in 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. On to another one. It'll be a 1984 Chevrolet Monte SS Coupe here. It's going to be $6,600, posted three days ago, and it's going to be in Illinois. So it's got some custom paint, some custom wheels. It actually looks really good. So that looks like one you can take straight to the shows. Start cruising it today. 6600 bucks. got to dig that. Nice looking car. That's what you're looking for. Hit him up. Illinois. Only been on here three days. On to another one. This almost made the pick of the day, but eight grand, man. Damn, it looks rough for eight grand, right? 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe. Eight grand seven weeks ago. I say that this would be the one I would want because it's a T-top. I know a lot of you guys like high-performance cars. Last time we've searched anything that was T-top, you've mentioned it. Man, you twist the body. Well, I'm not looking for a race car. When it comes to a car with T-tops, I'd really have T-tops. I can't stand sunroofs. That's me. If you're not looking for a T-top car, well, then look for a different one. That's the one I would check out. Looks like he's already primered it all. So on to another one. That is a good car, but as far as what I would be looking for, but again, eight grand. On to another one. 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe, 8,500 bucks four weeks ago, Virginia. And here's my point, 85, 500 more. Tell me you wouldn't rather have this one. It's got a video. I'm afraid to listen to it, but here we go. Oh, that don't sound bad at all. Nice long video too. Sounds pretty healthy. I'd like to think it's got a quick open exhaust or something. Or it's got no exhaust on it. Open headers, maybe. Definitely loud. The lights work. It's nice.
nice looking car, 8500 bucks. I'd definitely rather have this one than the other one. But I gotta be honest with y'all, man. Since that Corvette search, we watched that little skit. I'm afraid to almost pit push play on some of these little videos guys post on their ads. So he did have some pictures of it. It looks pretty decent. Some nice looking drag lights on it. On to another one. It's gonna be our first Craigslist ad. It's gonna be in Asheville. It's 80, 1985 Monte Carlo SS. It wants $89.50 for this one. It's gonna be in Tennessee. I like the rallies on it. I actually like the original wheels these cars came with, but they do look good with rallies. I like the black, the red, it's non T top. And again, it was on Craigslist. Reduced price. So he's dropped the price a thousand bucks. On to another one. It'd be 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe 2D for two door, nine grand, 16 weeks ago, Columbus, Ohio. I like the silver. Gray interior, car looks complete. A little bit of surface rust, man, it's a nice looking car. Nine grand, I don't know. Like we say, I'm rounding them up. How bad do you want one? Ohio, check it out. On to another one. And again, these are one of those cars you definitely want to look at the frame rails. These cars are known for rotting the frame rails out on them. So 1985 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe, 9500 bucks Illinois. Again, I dig the rally wheels. I kind of like the gray interior better than the burgundy interior, but got the engine pulled. 9500 best offer. We'll not respond to bullshit and BS. So I, don't know, I guess that's one way of saying it. Better than saying I will not respond to if it's available. That's for sure. If the post is up, it's available. So you got to love that he put that in there. I don't see anything about a clean title. That'd be like the biggest thing you forgot to mention. On to another one. It'd be a 1986 Monte Carlo SS Coupe. 9500 bucks. Listed 20 weeks ago. Kansas City, Missouri. So I don't know. At that kind of price, it's a T-top. Man, it's been here a long time. 20 weeks he hasn't been able to sell this car. So, I don't know. Maybe T-tops don't bring the value that people think they do. I don't know. 9500 for that one. On to another one. Be 1985 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe 2D 10 grand. You got to tell me. There's no way you can tell me that this isn't cooler than the last car. The digital gauges. If you like green. I mean, we all like green, right? Yeah, that's a cool car. For 10 grand. Definitely better than the last two we looked at, right? On to another one. 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS 10.5 for this one. This is six days ago, Georgia. This car looks pretty decent. Other than the trailer wheels, maybe we'll see an Elderbrock air cleaner on this one. It's got a nice speaker box in the back. No room to put anything else in the trunk. But it didn't show you under the hood at all, so who knows? You might get the surprise when you get there if one of those fine looking Elderbrock air cleaners on this one. So he kind of hates to see it go. It's got a mile 355 in it. He has a title. That's the biggest deal. 10.5. You definitely want to have a title. On to another one. To be back to Craigslist. It's going to be Seattle. It's going to be Monte Carlo SS Custom 1984 Floor Shift 350. That's how he's got it in the description. He wants 11.9 for this car. It's got some kind of pearl paint on it with metallic. Turns purple, blue. Some pretty cool paint. Some pretty nice looking wheels too. Got LED headlights. And check out the flop on that paint. Looks purple on one half, blue on the other. It also looks like I see marks from them spraying it, man. So I don't think they laid this paint down quite right. You get there, it's going to have zebra stripes in it because it wasn't sprayed correctly. And it's not an easy paint to paint. So I believe I spotted that in photos. And if you can see it in photos, it's going to look really bad when you get there to look at the car. On to another one. The best of Facebook Marketplace. And this is almost my pick of the day. This is a T-Top. 1986 Chevrolet SS. 13,000. Four days ago, Florida. So if 13,000 is in the budget, this one might be worth checking out. I dig the black. This car washed up, waxed, buffed up. This would be a nice one. Digging the SS aftermarket door skins. Looks like some really comfortable seats. I'm not sure those seats were original, but they look good in there. Check it out. Looking for a nice black one with T-Top's 350 engine. Boom. Maybe I can save some face with 350 engines on all these. So I know a lot of guys didn't like the way I was talking about them in tow trucks, but you know, and the one guy commented that 
you know, it's a small block of work. If you build it right, nobody's building those engines, small block engines, right before they throw them in a tow truck. They're just grabbing shit that runs, throwing it in there, thinking they can still tow cars with it. So you'd be better off with the 366. I didn't mention that, but if you build one of those tow trucks, go looking for a 366 before you buy a small block for it. On to another one here. It's going to be 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo 13.5. That's a beautiful car. So I'm liking the looks of that one. 13.5. I think that might almost be nicer than that black one. Pretty nice looking car. That's your area PA. It's only been on here for three days. On to another one. Looks like it's stored in a garage too. 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. 15000 for this one. Four weeks ago, Arkansas. Got some big wheels on this one. Ratchet shifter in it. Check it out. White's your color. We found one. 15,000, so that's where we're at on a search. On to another, we only go to 20,000 today on these. 1984 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe, 15.5. This did two weeks ago in Indiana. I think I've showed this car in a past episode. So like I always say, it doesn't hurt to watch past episodes, round them up. A lot of the times you get over 10 grand, cars are still posted for sale. So that said, on to another one. That's some really decent pictures too. Floors look great in that car. Frame looks good. On to another one. Be a 1987 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe, 16,000, California. This car looks beautiful. I like the wheels, I like the paint. I just hate the, the sunroof. I'd rather have a set of T-tops, but that's me. That is a nice-looking car right there. Check him out. California is your area. It says, update, pull the motor to start a LS swap. Man, that's a shame. On to another one. It ain't worth 16 with no motor in it. 1985 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Maybe he's got the LS to go with it, but even as the LS coming in a basket, I don't think it's worth 16. We can buy running, driving cars for that. And here's one of as an example. This is six weeks ago, Illinois. It's gonna be 16.5 firm, lowest to go, super clean. 1985 SS, not a clone, real SS, rust-free car. How are you gonna beat that? As I click off the ad, my bad. Nice looking wheels, beautiful looking car. I don't know about those aftermarket wheels they had on there. I think I'd just stay with the ones he had on it. But if you're looking for big wheels too, I don't know if he wants extra or not. You have to read him out. I always recommend getting on the site wherever we're at. This would be Facebook Marketplace. Punch in the title. Find it in Illinois and hit him up. Just hit message. On to another one. 1984 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS Coupe. $17,995. Listed four days ago in PA. I know a couple years ago we had a Monte Carlo SS search. The particular subscriber she wanted to see specifically blue ones <laughs> that makes it tough to find just the one color but i get it that's what she wanted that's what we looked for so listed four days ago pa it's got a 350 in it original sheet metal definitely garage cut paint shows well pa title that's what you always want to look for if there's a title but it also says if it's up it's available you gotta love when people put that man instead of saying i won't respond to it there's how you do it right there Perfect example how to sell a car. You even got his big old name on the dealership it's sitting at. On to another one. It's going to be Detroit Metro, Craigslist, 86 Monte Carlo SS, 18.5. Been on here 29 days. I'll be on here another day. You know how I feel about people that are running pictures off of other pictures? Not the way to do it. And then we got some actual photos. Then we got photos off the computer again. So I don't know. Is he really showing you a car he owns or just one he found on the internet? I'd be skeptical about it. It's been out here 29 days. Detroit Metro. On to another one. Going to be in Louisville. And it's going to be a 1986 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Street strip. Trades considered. He wants $9,995. Was this out of price order? It sure was. So my bad. For $99.95. We should have looked at this one a minute ago. But I do make mistakes all the time on rounding them up. I like the wheels. It's got a lot of photos of this car. And I believe I've showed it in a past episode. It was a T-top race car. So there you go. There's one for y'all to complain about. Looks like they strengthened up the frame. So there you go. While you're in the middle of complaining, looks like they plated the frame in a couple spots. Either that or it's broke. No clue. Again, if you go to check one out, be sure to look under the frame, underneath the car to check it out, man. Don't hand anybody money and not look the frame over. On to another one. It's going to be South Florida. It's going to be 1984 Monte Carlo SS, 20000 worth the limit. This car looks great. Paint looks beautiful. The wheels look great. Non-T-top. 
no picture under the hood or the interior so that's kind of a alarming for a car that's twenty thousand dollars you think you would see those things in the photos but there's the description it's been on here for 19 days on to another one this could be a 1986 chevrolet monte carlo ss coupe 2d for two door 20,000 listed 11 weeks ago texas this car's beautiful so again i think that we've seen a nice enough one if you got the money to spend up to twenty thousand, then go buy a turnkey but i think if you're just really looking to get one i think there's a few on here today that could make that possible of actually owning one of these cars so with all that said on to my pick of the day it's going to be this one right here 1986 chevrolet monte carlo ss coupe 4500 11 weeks it's been on here yep michigan michigan gets the pick of the day so this is my pick i dig the front trailer wheels that's why i picked this car no i'm just bullshit it's an 86 monte carlo ss has a 396 big block in it flywheel needs a flywheel and other things to make it run ran good has t-tops 4500 best offer will deliver for three dollars a mile so there you go looking for a big block 396 t-top monte carlo that's the one i would go check out but that's me price is 4500 bucks 11 weeks he might budge on the price even so hope you all are digging the search hopefully i'll be able to get another one up tonight but if i don't the next round them up search will be bringing you will be another monte carlo search i believe we're going to be looking up 70 to 72 monte carlos next so be sure to subscribe be sure to ring that little bell beside the subscribe button there you'll be notified when we put out searches Again, I don't charge finder fees, nor do we uh, get any commissions when cars sell. The way to pay it forward to the channel is just hit a big thumbs up. Leave it down in the comments as you dig what we're doing. Thanks for watching, everybody, and peace out.